In this video, we will review how to manage records. To update a record, open the table in Datasheet View, find the record, click in the field, and then make the changes. Notice that we have a pencil icon. Make sure you click to the next record or tab through the fields into the next record so that it will actually save the changes. To delete a record, you simply click the record selector and you can press the delete key on the keyboard or you can click the home tab and then click the drop down arrow on the delete button and click delete record. Click yes to delete it. To add a new record, click in the next blank record or click new in the records group if, excuse me, if applicable. Enter the record information, and then again make sure you tab through to the next record so that it will save the changes. To append records from external data, click on the external data tab and then click on the type. For this example, we will import songs from an Excel file into the song table for the album that we just entered. Make sure you choose the Append option and then choose the appropriate table. And you can see here that we do not have a song ID. That's perfectly fine because that's an auto number field and it will add it automatically. Open the table to view the data. And you can see that it did import correctly. Now, notice that we have song numbers. We do not need those. That's the number of the track on the CD. So we need to get rid of that. We can quickly get rid of it using Find and Replace rather than editing individual records. Click the Home tab, click the Field, and then click the Replace button. Now, for this particular example, we will have to use wildcards because we have a varying length uh, number before the period. You know, some of them are single characters, some of them are double. So we will use an asterisk and then a period because we want to get rid of the period as well and a space because we want to get rid of this preceding space also. Now we won't replace it with anything so we can leave that field uh, or box blank. And then for the match property, we need to choose any part of field and then click replace all. Click yes, close this dialog box and then scroll down to ensure that it did replace properly. Lastly, we want to look at sorting and filtering. Sorting is very easy. You simply click in the field and then click either ascending or descending and then you can also remove the sort if necessary. For filtering you click in the field, click the filter button and then choose what you would like to see. Maybe we only want to see what uh, is on album 4. So we click OK and then you can see the songs from album 4. To clear the filter click in the field again, click the filter button, and then click on clear filter. For more advanced filters, uh, again click in the field, click filter. You can remove the check here and then you can apply a text filter. Or if it was for a number you could put in a number value. For this one, we will find the song titles that contain the word I'm. To apply it, click OK, and there are the songs out of the list that have the word I'm in them. And then again, you can clear the filter.